This is Harry boy. He's an old dog now, but still acts like a puppy, don't you, mate? You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> shake, shake. <laughs> I never taught him how to shake. <laughs> Good boy. Hurry, out, come on, out. Good boy. So what's happening today folks? Well, I am heading to Shady Camp Barrage. I'm fishing off the barrage there. Um, I've never been there before. My aim today is just to get some barra. That's all I want. I haven't caught a barra in months now. I was actually going fishing with a mate today, but he had to pull out due to some unforeseen circumstances, which is all good. So I am doing the solo run today. So it's a little bit of a road trip, Lucky I looked at a few websites online because it turns out there's actually special rules for fishing uh, within 100 metres of the barrage. Uh, you do expect to catch a little barra, um, so they want to protect those stocks, so as a result you're not allowed to use trebles. So um, I've brought a lot of lures and plastics and stuff that have just the single hook on them. So I think best case scenario today would be that I'll be catching several barra, they'll probably only be little but that will be absolutely fine by me. Um, can I get four bottles of water and two hash browns, please? Exactly. Wonderful. Don't judge. Cool. Anyway? Yes, please. Good, thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yo, beauty. But it can buy me a In 800 meters, turn left onto Arnhem Highway. Arnhem Highway, here we go. Okay, well I left Palmerston at about 9, it's 10.46, so under two hours, ignore what um, ignore what Google Maps says, which said like three and a half hours or something, less than two hours. I'm just going to be completely honest, I am very excited, so all I've grabbed so far is just this little rod, I haven't caught a barra on it yet, I've used it quite a few times, but this is probably my cheapest setup, little telescopic rod. It's a little Shimano Eclipse, it was like 30 bucks. And a little smoke reel, I think it cost me about 100. This area apparently has the highest concentration of crocodiles in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, something like uh, 15 crocodiles per kilometer or something ridiculous like that. First cast at Shady Camp. See how quickly I can get snagged, eh? Okay? I think I mentioned on the trip here, you've got to use single hooks. Within uh, 100 metres of the barrage here. Alright. Um, I want to retrieve slower, so I'm going to go and grab a smaller lure. This one's just a, a little bit heavy to slow retrieve as it keeps hitting the bottom. Oh, they're tiny. Well, there you go, that's what I was using and that's what I propose to use. Now that little lure's rigged up, I'm pretty confident now that I'll be able to get a fish. I am optimistic, very, very optimistic. First cast with that little lure. Oh, hit, hit. Yep. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Hey, look. Oh, tarpon. He spat it. There you go. How optimistic was that? That was insane. As soon as it touched the water, little baby tarpon grabbed it. Oh, 
Oh, yep, on, on. That'll be a tarpon for sure. Hey, little tarpon. See you later, buddy. Two casts, two hits. There you go, mate. Oh, yeah. Three casts, three hits. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jeez, they jump a bit. <laughs> I'm going to put another one of those exact same little plastic ones. A little squidgy it is. 65 millimeter little bad boy. I'm going to put that in my pocket right now because I want to try this little Zeric live shrimp. Brand new, -y, as you can see. Weedless. It'll be fairly light, so I won't be able to cast it very far. But um, I have got high hopes for that lure here. Yeah, this, this thing's going to get fish here for sure. You'd almost guarantee it. Like a bloody ATM, buddy. This is, the, this is your card. You just need to put in the pin number and withdraw the barra. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> You're a dickhead. Come on, that'll be guaranteed fish, surely. Yep, fish on. Come on, let's get this guy in, hey? Little tarpon. Mission complete, that's what a tarpon looks like. Off he goes. Oh, yep, that's bigger. Oh, another tarpon, is it? It's really hard to tell the difference between the two. Yes, yeah, tarpon. Hey, he spat it. Oh, well, that's all good. I don't really want tarpon. What have we got? What have we got? Barramundi, that's a little barra. Oh, he just beached himself. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, dude, dude. I did say I didn't care what size he was as long as I got a barra. That's him there. See ya, buddy. Go on. Swim away. Good boy. Alright, I'm going to head back to the car for a minute, get out of the sun, have a bit of a break. Alright, there was a little shade or lookout sort of thing that I saw from the barrage. It's a bit upstream. I think you can drive there. So I'm going to drive up there, sit in the shade, have a bottle of water and um, yeah, and then come back. Alright, well the lookout is actually a crocodile viewing platform. 15 minutes return. Well, the timing of this video, folks, it's not done by accident. If all goes to plan, you'll be watching this video on Anzac Day. Out here today fishing, it's the day before Anzac Day, so I want to do a bit of a Anzac Day special, we'll call it. We'll find a nice little spot up here, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Then we'll go hats off for this one. Oh, look. You might have noticed I was carrying two beers down. Only one of them's for me though. I'm going to keep it fairly short and sweet folks. This isn't usually something I talk about publicly and certainly not on social media. But um, yeah, what Anzac Day means to me became a lot more serious and relevant about 10 years ago. Um, I lost someone very close to me in Afghanistan. On special occasions like Anzac Day and Remembrance Day, my missus and I have developed a little bit of a tradition where if we have a few beers, we'll make sure to crack open an extra one 
for the diggers that we've lost. Well, these would have to be probably close to the most precious things I own. They're my uncle's uh, spare set of dog tags. My auntie gave me these. Um, I used to wear them around my neck here on this chain, but um, I'm the clumsiest person I know, and the thought of losing them would, uh, would be pretty upsetting. Above all else, family and friends is what my uncle loved more than anything. But one other thing he did love was also fishing. So this beer's for him. And let's go do some fishing. Marking around now, getting my favourite rod out. That's a lot of birds. Beautiful little barramundi. Just had a snag, so I'm going to head back to the car, tie some more leader on, and go back for one last shot. I've started a Patreon account. If you haven't heard of Patreon, it's where people that really like a certain creator, like with me, I'm a creator of fishing videos you can go and sort of on a really small scale sort of sponsor that creator as an individual um for like as little sort of five bucks a month or something like that don't panic i'm not going to be sort of paid content um all of my videos my usual episodes will still be available to watch for free on youtube and facebook as usual between youtube and facebook i'm actually up to over uh ten thousand followers and subscribers combined so even if i had just 10 percent of you go on and pledge me five bucks a month that's uh what the less than the price of a schooner at the pub feels so weird asking for money anyway check out my patreon page i'll put it in the description just go check it out or not i don't care whatever <laughs> okay re-rigged up with the same 35 pound leader Exactly the same. Whoa. Little white soft plastic. Um, after my next snag, I reckon I will pack it in for the day. But hopefully I'll get a couple of fish before then. There are just so many of these little bar around. I mean, it's not really a fish to show off about, but some people that have never caught a barra before and you wanted to almost guaranteed get a barra, this could be the spot for you. <laughs> Bloody beautiful. All done. Well, something I've been meaning to do for a while now is a shout out to a couple of little blokes that I know love watching my videos. Uh, the first one is little Harry from Townsville. I know he loves watching my videos with his dad. I've known little Harry's mum and dad for quite a while now. And the funny thing is when uh, dad's watching the videos with him, apparently he'll point me out and say, oh, I know him, he's my mate. And little Harry doesn't believe him. He reckons, ah, oh, you don't know Mikey. So, uh, newsflash Harry. Me and your dad are mates. The other shout out I want to do is to my little mate Harley from the Gold Coast. 
I'm also friends with his mum and dad. And uh, apparently when Harley's watching my videos with his dad, um, he thinks it's FaceTime. So he gets angry at my videos because I don't talk back to him. He'll ask me questions and stuff and I ignore him apparently. So um, it's not FaceTime Harley, but g'day mate. Glad you're watching and uh, I hope all is well, buddy. Well, that's it from me today, folks. I'm actually driving my way out there right now doing the outro, so I have no idea how good my day was. But um, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic, so I'm thinking it was a good episode. I really hope it was a good episode for you. So uh, I'm Mikey Cunningham. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And I hope that camera's not too shaky.